Cat Mac 316 here. Going to do another model review today of the classic construction models 983B or CCM. Uh, this is a 140A scale. Very nice piece, I have to say by far. Um, this is the first track loader I've gotten from them. I know they made track loaders in the past, but start off with the card. 431 out of 983 so apparently they're gonna make they're gonna start doing this and uh, what the numbers are of these got girls so still a great piece tells everything about the machine the motor the drivetrain the lift arms the ropes because they came up with a second version of this with an open ropes and regular bucket and counterweight what the cab is on the inside, all that fun stuff. So, it's a great piece to talk about and try out. So, let's see here. See if I can find something here to help open this stuff up with. And here it is, right here on the side. So, the 983 was made from 1978 till 1983. The B was the last one made. It's a great machine. We'll start off with the grill work. They actually did put a motor in there. You just can't see it too good. Decals are clean and crisp. Um, there is a gap in the door though. So that's not good. That's the only downside to this. They got the stickers there. Um, it's a great piece. I definitely truly recommend it. Metal handrails all around. Nicely crafted. All, those, all the decals are clean and crisp. You got the cat filler right there. And the rippers already came in, already done in, so you can't lose the pins or nothing or risk it. The hoses, fully detailed hoses. Come on, phone. Okay, I don't know what the phone's up to. There we go. Fully done up hoses on all sides, which you really can't see too well because they're behind the hydraulics. It's got all the cab lights and the side lights, but there's part one of the hoses right there. It's so got the wind windshield wiper, which is actually made into the glass so it doesn't move like the plastic ones or it will fall the chrome sack adds adds to it tracks are done up very well now the rollers right there are supposed to turn which I'm not sure if they do because of the paint issue but got track touch as you can see the cab door does open to reveal the sticker on the inside we took probably a shift pattern or warning sticker inside of the cab you can see the operator seat the bucket control the shifting the governor and the third valve. Uh, this was also a pedal steer. Let's see if I can get an inside shot here. And there we go. You really can't, so I'll tell you what's on the inside. But it's got the foot pedals in there. Um, the gauges do have everything on them as a sticker so it's got all the little arrows and all that up there that's not that simulated mesh but not really can't see through it the cab eyes so if we wanted to pick it up or take it off 
like it shows in the brochure, they do flip up for easy maintenance. The other side here, the other uh, door opens. See where all the filling departments are and everything. The grill work, the steps. Uh, this is the the bucket here. It does have the plastic guard, like the rock protection guard. It is plastic, and you can tell it is miscolored a little bit. So you can see so the carbon maintain right there for some reason. But that's the height. Easily dumps. They used to pair those with the 769. Oops, sorry. I just dropped the camera. Um, so, that, that, that you can tell they're a good size. These were, I believe, D8 or D9 undercarriages and motors. One of the two. The Ripper. It's got a good height to it. As you can see, three of them are big, two of them are small. So we'll get all the ground, which is a nice one. You can tell the hoses are there. You can hold that pose. Let's see here. The hydraulics are stiff, but not stiff, too stiff, where you can't do nothing with it. And she'll hold herself up. Tracks do roll kind of easy, but they do stick because of the paint right there. So. So it's one of those models that you really don't play with. But as you can see, it does roll. Underneath. The new CCM logo they put under them. 3D type, type thing. The number underneath. You can see where the drive trains are right there and everything. The bucket is nicely done. It's got some guarding on it. On the side. Not too extreme. Then the underneath the bucket is really cool. Like I said all the grill work, it's got the tow hook underneath. So if it needs to be pulled out or gets stuck or you need to pull something out. It's a great machine, great model. I'm um, couldn't ask CCM to do better. Like I said, this the one downfall with the uh, door. But it is nice. In the stack, you can actually stick this in there a little bit. So, there's the other view of the machine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I rate this a 10 out of 10. If we could rate it more, then I'd rate it. So, it's a great piece. Try, try to get it, guys. Um, if you're looking for a nice big track loader, this would be it. Yeah, let's see here. I'll do one thing for you guys. I should have done earlier. Pair it up with another with a Kenworth dump truck. And there you go. That's how it looks. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later.